Hello everybody, this is the Rampaging Gamer and welcome to Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last part we did shit and other shit and talked to the Great Fairy of shit. And now we're going to the shithole. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, I've actually just did this before. I had a fail recording session. I was recording my audio, but I wasn't actually recording the TV screen. <laughs> Some of the dumbass. Anyway, this part we're gonna do this one again, then we're gonna go to the third dungeon. Sounds cool. Anyway, what you wanna do here is catch the biggest fish in the pond. This took me about like seven minutes to do in the failed recording session. Hopefully this will be quicker, but although seven minutes to me is pretty quick. Oh. Oh, if only that was the uh, big fish. Because I think I see the bigger one right here. Oh, sorry for about the mic there. <laughs> Honestly, don't really care if this fish goes gets away or if I catch it. Because you're not the fish I want. But I'll keep you anyways. Then there's one fish to worry about. And Fuck you, Navi. Nobody needs your help. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm trying to look over there. Anyway, let's hope the big fish is still there. Oh, there it is. Come on. Come on, fishy. Come on. Come on. Come on. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's try this again. Anyway, what you want to do is play around with a uh, fish, like, basically tap the joystick, the control stick every once in a while, like every few seconds, and hopefully it will bite. Oh. Holy shit. Please don't go away. Please, come over here. Come on. Come on, you're not getting away. You're not getting away from me. You ain't getting away from me. Come on. Get over here. Get over here. Wow. Huh. Ten pa Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! Did I drop it? Did I drop? Did I just drop it? Oh, please tell me I didn't. I'm gonna go check. I might have accidentally dropped it. I might be freaking out for nothing, but please, 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 uh, please, I was just skipping through the scroll, eating my fish. Thank God! I must have dropped the other fish, 1,010 powder. Oh God. That scared me for a second. <laughs> wow, I don't have to cut or fast forward, like I was going to in the fail recording. Because it took me about 7 minutes, and I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch 10 minutes of uh, footage of me trying to catch a fish. <sighs> that almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs> oh, it's easier to tell how long this video is going to be now. Anyway, let's head back to Zero's Domain. And let's turn the other way. Okay. Yeah, they appear out of nowhere. That guy appear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they appear out of thin air. Uh, I want to collect that fish, but I haven't. Don't want to throw any of my stuff away, so I'm just gonna go give King Zora the notes. So I have one extra bottle, and so I can collect this, because that's kind of required right now, at this point. Oh, this letter from Princess Ruto? Let's see, she's inside Lord Jabu's Jabu. That's not possible. Our guardian guard, Lord Jabu Jabu. Or Jabu Jabu Jabu, I don't know which one. This is where we're not called Jabu Jabu. <laughs> Would never eat our my dear Princess Ruto. 
But since that strange Ga stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu has been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course, you'll go find Ruto. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I keep this letter. You keep the bottle of it. it was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately. Zora. You see Zed Zora there for a sleep at the end of the sunset. Can you move faster? Move! Move! You want me to find your daughter immediately? How is that possible if you can't even move immediately? Move! Faster! Oh my god. Move faster! Why do you have to be such a freaking badass? Ah, <sighs> bad fish. Bad these days. So sad. Yeah, me. How did they appear out of nowhere? Or maybe I'm just seeing stuff. Maybe they maybe I just don't see them underwater. I'm pretty sure they don't Yeah, he he just appeared! I was red! They're ghosts. They're Zora spirits from the other world. God damn it. Zora's domain is haunted. Are all these doors dead? Are they all just ghosts? What the fuck? Gotta get out of here. I don't want Azura's spirit haunting me. Azura goes. Nah. Anyway, here we are at Zora's fountain. I almost said door domain there. And there's Lord Jabu Jabu. Aw, he looks friendly. I'll feed him the fish after I go over here. Because there's something special over here. Ah, oh, it's very quiet here. All I can hear is Lord Jabu Jabu's feeding. Oh, and there's fish there too. Okay, just pick, picked one of those up from the bottom. Although, although, then again, that those fish are pretty deep in water, so. Anyway, this is our 21st. First, culture, not 21st. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna blow up this boulder just because I feel like it. Oh shit! Okay, there's actually something behind this wall. I was hoping for the bomb to explode the wall. And here we are, the Great Fairy. I should just close my eyes at this part. I should not look at her. <laughs> Everyone, close your eyes or turn off the screen or something. Ah, there she is. She's showing her tits. <laughs> oh my! Her tits are sparkling. They're sparkling there for a second. Oh, that's so gross. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of. Drugs. I'll give you some weed. Please take it. I'm not sure this is better than the one I th thought of last time because I thought they had an office spot and I could kind of do the same thing with this one because I'm an idiot. Here we got Firo's Pot. Okay, I really should not make these jokes. I'll stop. Yes. Basically what Pharaoh's Wind does is you can use it in temples only or dungeons. They're, you can basically make your own war points. Like if you go to a certain part of the dungeon and you want to go to the other one, and if you made a warp there, you can just warp right there. It only uses magic when you like set up the warp. It doesn't cost magic when you warp to the warp point. So yeah, they're per fairly useful, but Dins Fire I like better. Just because of how badass it looks, I haven't, I actually haven't showed it off yet. I will, but I'll show it off right now. But I don't want to waste my magic. 
I could just restart my marshal in the fairy, but I really don't want to. Anyway, let's go feed the fishy. What does this sign say? Feed the sign like. Don't disturb Lord Chubb and Troopers. What is this, a zoo? Don't disturb Lord Chubb and Troopers. Well, guess what? I'm gonna feed him. Because he looks nice. He doesn't look green like King Zora says. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm not a good look. I guess he's a tad bit green. There you go, it's fish. Oh! Oh shit! Maybe I should have read listen to the sign! Well fuck. Uh this is the third dungeon, everybody. Um, okay, I'm gonna make this a short episode. Yeah, cause yeah, I think there's this is a good spot to this is a good spot to stop. So yeah, in the next episode we'll explore Jabba Jabba's belly. Until then, subscribe to my videos if you liked it and post comments. See you then.